Hey guys, it's Charlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so we finished up with week two. Um, so 14 days into our getting healthy lifestyle. So let's go ahead and talk about week two. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any videos. So for those of you that have not watched week one, I will go ahead and put that in um, the description box so you can see that. And uh, with regards to week two, um, the goal for myself was to just keep maintaining. I knew I needed to get through two weeks. If I can get through two weeks, it becomes a habit. Um, that's my, for me. And everybody's a little bit different, but if I can get through two weeks of anything, then it becomes a habit. Um, and I accomplished it. I did not cheat. Um, I went over 20 carbs one time and it was 21 carbs. I stayed definitely under 1300 uh, calories. Um, most often somewhere around 1100. You know, there were days where I'd have 900 calories a day where I'd have uh, like 1226 or something. Um, so I watched both carbs and calories. In this video and in the days that in, in the days that will follow this intro, I will talk about one of the two apps that I use. I will talk about the intermittent fasting app. How am I feeling this week compared to last week? Much better, um, especially as the days are progressing. So I definitely feel much better. Um, next week, we will dive into the app that I'm using to track my food. It is specifically for keto. I have used um, my fitness pal before, uh, but that is generalized. There's nothing wrong with it. If you're familiar with that app, go with it. I used it when I used to work out at the gym and do keto. Um, it, it, uh, for the, this one makes it a little easier because it's designed specifically. It'll tell me my protein, my fat, um, my calories and then my carbs, which of course is what I'm looking at, um, is carbs and calories. I, okay, before we jump into the days, um, uh, let's show the weight. So uh, the beginning weight was this, okay? So that was day one. Um, at day seven, which is really at the end of day seven, beginning of day eight, comes the weight for the first day of the next week. Hope I'm making sense. So here's the weight for the end or the beginning, however you want to look at it, uh, for week two. So this is what I was starting with. So I had last like 8.5 pounds, I think it is. Now, this is my weight though. So here's the weight, and then I will put the inches as well, the measurements, okay? So I'll create the graph from week one, two, and three. All right, let's do these measurements, guys. All right, so we will start with the waist. We, we're at 31. I think that's where we were last time. Let me see, there you go. Can you see that? 31, oh, too close, 31. I think I don't remember so that's why I have them all written down and as far as hips go we are at here 41 so hips are 41. I feel like these are the same numbers, but I, I, I could be wrong. I don't know. They all start to blend. Oh, chest. You guys, I did the chest on the first one. Um, I did measure it the second time. I just didn't show you, and I'll measure it again. The problem I have with the chest is that I do wear a prosthesis that is actually bigger than my boob. Um, so, but let me do it. I mean, I guess if I'm being consistent, um, I mean, I don't, I don't care. I don't want my chest to go look. Well. It has gone lower. So, all right, 37 and a half. There we go. So, that's actually good, I guess, because we are doing the back. Um, so, yeah, let me do it this way for you. It's funny, I wasn't going to measure. 37 and a half. Well, there we go. Last half an inch in the boobies. 
Okay, let's talk numbers. I lost 2.6 pounds this week for a total of 10.8 pounds. Um, now, why, one of the questions you have, why did I lose more weight the first week than the second week? A lot of water weight, a lot of water weight. Some fat in there, but mostly water weight. Uh, when you have like 2.6 pounds, my goal is two pounds. So um, if I can lose two pounds every week, great, I will feel good. Um, and then also, of course, I wanna start building muscle, but that's, that's we're gonna talk about that week three. So, uh, and then inches, uh, let's go ahead and we lost 0.5 in the boob area, the chest area, which I didn't really, I, although I measured week one, I didn't talk about it at the end um, when I remeasured for the beginning of week two. Does this all make sense? Uh, but at the end of week two, I've lost half an inch. I was not going to measure and then I said, no, I'm going to because I was thinking just boobs, but it's really chest, right? It's your back and everything. So I said, no, I'm gonna measure. Waist was one inch, so the waist remained the same, um, which that's the one area I wish would, you know, but that's all right, we're good. Um, so it, uh, I've lost one inch in these two weeks. Uh, and then 1.5 inches in the hips in these two weeks. So I lost half an inch from week one to week two. I hope those numbers all made sense to you. Now let's talk about food. Okay, so number one, I track carbs. Number two, calories. Those are the things I look at. So I can go ahead and look, here's a graph. Now, unfortunately, it's only going to give me six days um, I, because I'm looking at it today. I haven't quite figured this app out a hundred percent to be able to do the first day, but you'll get the gist. Um, I stayed under 20 carbs every single day with the exception of one showing 21 and that means i went over by one carb is that a big deal no uh the next thing that i'm going to show you are calories um the highest day i had two days that were around 1200 1221 was my absolute highest um 1200 was another and then pretty then it was you know just I mean, some days were less than a thousand, so uh, I'm good with that. Uh, and then the other thing I want to talk about is ketosis. Did I stay in ketosis the entire time? Yes. Um, one of the things that I will say, if you need th things to motivate you um, and you are doing uh, keto or, or low carb, anything that requires you to be in ketosis, ping on a stick in the morning or in the afternoon, whenever you want. Um, and, and it turned purple is awesome. Purple is good. You're burning ketones, yay. Um, so uh, that's awesome. So yes, no, I never broke ketosis. Um, with 20 carbs, that wouldn't happen. Uh, will I add more carbs in? Uh, possibly, uh, we'll see, I don't know. Right now I'm feeling good. Right now I'm happy with how things are progressing. So next thing for week three, there will be goals, right? I had goals for these first two weeks, was track everything, uh, get more familiar with the apps, and um, stay on track, and I did all of those things. So yeah, I feel good, ready for week three. Uh, by the way, a lot of you like, uh, the majority of you like the format. I appreciate that, thank you so much. I know there are some of you that wish I would, this is just about, you know, food, exercise, whatever. It's just not. I've just added vlogging to it um, with recipes and stuff like that, if there are recipes. I'm just gonna kind of stick with that format. I hope you guys like it. And this is a vlog. It's different than the other videos I do. So it is what it is. Let's go, jump in, day one, week two. Hey guys, welcome to week two, day one. <laughs> So, um, uh, I'm not going to go into a long spiel uh, like I did last time. Um, since this is week one, day two, and maybe this is the first video uh, that you've seen, I will list in the description box the first week of our uh, getting healthy journey. So, I did want to talk a little bit today about um, the app Zero. I'll talk about each app each week. So the first app I'm going to talk about is called Zero, 
and it is intermittent fasting. So I'm uh, when I pull it up, the first thing I is good, I'm going to show you is that this is going to be what has been happening. So you can see that I've been fasting for almost uh, 16 hours. Um, you can choose what fast you want. Um, for instance, right up at the very top, you can see that I'm on an 18.6. We can change that and um, it's not gonna mess me up. I'll go ahead and I, I know where I'm at on this. So um, you can see these are the choices that you can do. So there's everything from the smallest is uh, 16 and 8, 18 and 6, 20 and 4, 30, uh, I think it says 36. I don't know why I struggle when I have these. 36 hour fast and then there's also a customary fast and then there's also a 13 hour fast. So there you go. So I've chosen 18 and 6. Um, that doesn't mean that you have to stop um, at 18 hours, there's been many, many times that I go um, above 18. Well, I mean, in the past. Um, even this time around, I think I went um, 19 hours on. And we can look. So it, um, if you look, it'll say recent fasts. So you can see on, on September uh, 24th, um, which is when I started the app, um, uh, I went 19 hours and 24 minutes and then the next day 16 hours and 33 minutes, 16 hours 45 minutes, 19 hours and 19 minutes. Uh, yesterday was 22 hours and 40, well the day before, we're always a day behind, 22 hours and 42 minutes. So you're always a day because right now I'm working on 15 and 8, uh, 15, uh, let's just say 16 hours, 16 hours. So. It'll track it, um, so it's a really great app. And then once you hit end fast, it will start clicking the time. And it will tell you you're getting close to your end or whatever. Um, that doesn't mean that, you know, this is just a helpful app. I typically don't, have never, breakfast is not a big deal for me. If it's a big deal for you, then that just means you stop eating earlier so that you can eat breakfast. For me, breakfast has never ever been an issue. Um, so um, I don't I don't have an issue with that one. Um, uh, most times I don't even think about food until like noon. So uh, for me, fasting is pretty easy. My downfall is, is that around 7, 7.30, I'll like be like, oh my God, I have to eat. Well, there were two days that I did do that, um, and that's why you see a shorter fast. Um, there will be days that I don't vlog, and that happened this past week, um, and I, I went into it already, so um, I won't go into it any farther, actually. So today, it's a really crappy, ugly, rainy day. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I have um, a meeting today um, that I need to get ready for. So um, yeah, in a couple hours. Um, so uh, I want to uh, have to do some things. And then, of course, I have to finish the video. And uh, so um, because I have um, a meeting, I am going to just make like a charcuterie board or something like that. Always have a little snacks. Of course, it's always important. Um, so yeah, um, that's what's going on today. Oh, energy level. Let me talk about that first. I feel much, much better today than I did uh, last week or you know the, the previous week um, thus far. Still a little jittery, still a little tired. Um, but I also have to take into account I've got a lot going on personally. So, um, but I also know how the keto flu, as they call it, works. That's okay. Um, still in ketosis, peed on the stick this morning. It's sort of addicting, y'all. So anyways, that's my daughter. So um, I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Mid morning check in. Well, it's 12:17, and so I've been fasting. Here we go. 18:46. Uh, I will be breaking the fast in the next 
half hour to an hour. This is the charcuterie board that I did. So you can see most of it is low carb. So we did some brie, slight bit of honey. You know, my favorite little mini peppers with the cream cheese. Of course, we had to do a flour salami, little strawberries, a little bit of grapes, cucumber, some crackers, and a little bit of Prosecco. Of course, you know, of course. So that's going to be the lunch. So I'll break my fast in about 15 minutes. Nothing like eating, huh? Right in front of you. <laughs> Make that charcuterie board you saw. Right now, it is, hold on. It's 5.07. Okay, there you go, you can see it right there. Mm, 5.07. <clears throat> I'm eating the last of it, so I have brie cheese and salami. Okay, who else out there loves brie cheese? Oh my god. It's like the best thing in the whole wide world. So, my meeting lasted for a really long time. No joke, like four hours. I'm touching up my hair. Right, I'm so close. Mm. Okay. So I'm just touching up my hair because I'm going to film the last part of week one. I know, it's so weird, right? I'm on week two, then I go to week one. But um, I have to finish that so I can download it and it be up for tomorrow. Tomorrow. So doing that and um i'm done eating for the day hey guys all right so welcome to day two <laughs> week two day two so today's been just <laughs> my internet is acting up so i'm having a difficult time uh you can see the computer downloading the video uh, to YouTube right now. Um, how am I feeling? I was, I kind of like to give you a how am I feeling. I'm always rubbing my eyes. Have you noticed that? Um, sinuses. Uh, so today, uh, I'm all over the place. So I feel, I had a headache a little bit earlier, um, but I just took one Tylenol and <laughs> it's gone. Um, so I feel better than I did last week. I have more energy. Um, I've been fasting. Let me, let me go ahead and show you. I think that I'll try and do that every day is just show you, um, the app and so that maybe you can get a little bit good. So here we go. 18 hours and 24 minutes. You can see at the bottom. Um, and you can always adjust. One of the things I wanted to talk about is you can always adjust. So let's say, so last night was my last meal was at 5:15. But let's say I um, uh, had something to eat at seven o'clock. I could literally just go in and edit yesterday's time, um, which that is really helpful with this app because if you go, oh no, I forgot to stop the app, you can go. Oh, okay, I can edit it and say, no, my last meal was at 5.30 or 6.30, whatever. So there are editing, um, and so that makes this really easy. I've already gone over my goal. I'm like, reach my goal. I'm like, what? Um, I was so confused because I'm on 18 and 6. So as you can see, I've gone over my goal and it'll just keep the it'll it'll just keep going until i eat and then i'll stop so before i eat i'm not going to eat right now but before i eat i'll go ahead and show you so i'll come back on but right now i gotta try and get a video up for you guys all right guys check in first meal of the day so i've been fasting for 21 hours and 41 minutes so i am going to show you i'm going to do it right here with you i'm going to end the fast and then it always asks you like how you feel and blah, blah, blah. Um, so today's a good day. So I'm just going to say, yeah, determine, sure. And, and then save it. And then it starts another clock you see here. And that is uh, your clock uh, as to um, when you're able to eat, if you think of it that way. So let's look at what I'm making today for lunch dinner, right? So I took a low carb tortilla. Remember the big ones have four. I heated it a little bit um, and I'm making a hamburger. So over here I have my scale. I cooked my burger. 
3.5 ounces. So this burger is 3.5 ounces. It's gonna go on my little low carb bun. I have one slice of, this is that, what is it? Monterey cheddar jack cheese. Um, one piece on there, so I'll know to put that in. Um, I have my plate here, let's do it this way. All right, and um, I have um, a half a cup of this right here which is cauliflower riced veggies. So if you look on the back, it'll actually say there's total four carbs, but then dietary fiber, so you know we deduct those. And it's a half a cup prepared, so it's two carbs for that little mixture right there. And then I am gonna measure out some onions. Um, I made a little bit of red onions here. I made some burgers, obviously, for my kiddo too, but I love burgers, so we're just gonna do Make it easy for me, it's half an ounce. <laughs> and we're gonna put those on. And then um, I am obsessed by dilly pickles. These are like so good. And there's less than a carb for 15 slices. I don't need 15 slices, so I'm just gonna take, although I could do 15 slices, so I just kinda count them out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. there's about 10. Okay, it's almost it. I have a little piece of bib lettuce here, and then I love mayonnaise. Uh, that is my condiment of choice if I was stuck on a desert island. So I am gonna take a, this is half a tablespoon at the most, I'm gonna spread it on the other side, just to give it a little bit of flavor. And that's it. I was gonna put some tomatoes, but I'm not feeling them right now. So, um, and then I just fold it up and I got myself a low carb burger with a little bit of rice. So this is going to definitely be, uh, if not pretty much my main meal. All right, so there we go. That's, that's what we're doing. All right guys, probably the last check-in of the night. I'm actually painting, uh, the trim on the stairs and then the stairs, they need a coat of paint. So I'm doing the white today and I'll probably do the black tomorrow. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. The meal that I showed you, the hamburger, that was my, I'm painting and talking. Um, that was my last meal. Um, so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and close the app out. And um, that's it for today. So I will see you tomorrow. I just took a quick shower. Haven't even put serums or anything on. I just got dressed. I thought that I would add fashion in here. Why not, right? I mean, we all love fashion. Now, I'm going to tell you right now. Normally, I don't like dress up for no reason. It's raining out. I'm not going anywhere. Um, but I thought, what the heck, you know? It, I don't know. We'll just like do outfits of the day. And this one is my painting. Well, it's my painting outfit as long as I don't get anything on my shirt. So I love my shirt. So let me go ahead and show you. So I have my Ruth Bader Ginsburg shirt, my RBG um, shirt, which uh, I love, but it, you know, it's just a graphic, well, it's more than a graphic tee, but you know what I mean. Um, these uh, are from, they're like, they, well, they are, they're pajama bottoms from Target. They are the most comfortable soft pajama bottoms. But in painting Matthew's room, I already got paint on them, <laughs> so I'm like, well, I'm designated, designating these ones uh, my painting pants, and then these you will see me wear all the time. I have them in pink, black, and then the leopard. The leopard just seems to be my favorite. These are the Skechers, um, the Bobs. Oh my gosh, they're the best slippers in the world, and they have, you heard it, they have the bottoms, so I can do, go indoor and outdoor with them, and I love them. All right, so this outfit today, I'm gonna go put some serums on, and um, start tackling the stairs, yay. Okay y'all, so groceries came. I did just get a few things, but um, the heck, well, I might as well go through them with y'all. Um, I picked up another ribeye steak. Um, uh, I love artichokes, so picked up a couple artichokes. Um, picked up some, this is light and fit protein shakes, like, like, like little smoothies. They're not bad. Um, I think there's seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, there's seven carbs. Again, it just depends. If you have a steak, 
which has zero, and then, you know, a vegetable that doesn't have a lot, you can st you could have this. But actually, Matthew loves these. So, um, when he's running late, um, and I just have another one of these, this is all for all of his, like, yogurts, go-gurts, and whatever, so I just put those in there. He loves blueberry muffins, so, um, simple things in the morning. Heavy cream, this is kind of a staple for low carb. Some more um, avocados. Um, he went through that, you know that last video that I did where we got the new um, cereal dispenser thing? Um, if you haven't seen that, I will go ahead and show again. Um, well, it definitely holds more than one box and he's already gone through it. So I got two more boxes. I got some walnuts because I'm thinking today, I don't know, it's raining today, so I was thinking I was gonna make a spinach um, with a couple spinach, walnut, um, a balsamic dressing, and a few strawberries and feta cheese salad. But it's raining, and now I'm like, um, and the other thing I got was some blueberries. So I have a little strainer here. When I know groceries are coming, I just put everything that I needs to be washed over there, and then just wash it and put it away. Oh, and then the other thing that I got. So I think that's it, right? Oh, and then I got him big giant things with nothing to do with his hair. <laughs> and then I got myself it since it is October first um, for a Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I got myself stargazer lilies. These are one of my favorite, favorite, favorite flowers, and they had the beautiful pink ones. <laughs> I'm gonna do some painting, and then I'll do lunch. Uh, I'll come back with you. Oh, and I'll videotape. You know, all the flowers. Okay, well. there's my flowers. <laughs> Let's see if they'll pick it up. Aren't they pretty? Uh, love stargazer lilies. Oh. All right, love stargazer lilies. Okay, here is this wonderful thing. I keep two cereal bowls ready for them to go. Um, I think it looks nice and it keeps the crumbs <laughs> from coming down. So I love this thing um, and it fits under the counter because the other ones that they made, they didn't fit under the counter and my kid goes to the cereal like there's literally no tomorrow. Nope. It's not going to open. No. So I'll have this in the back up and then it just sits right there. So cute, right? I have Rain, 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 rain. <laughs> but, oh, and muggy though. Rain, but muggy. Isn't this gorgeous? The lady off of Etsy made it. Uh, it's for breast cancer awareness. It actually says strength, love. It has the pink ribbon on it. Um, I love it. She made it last year. And like everything else, I'll list things if they're, if I can find them, you know, of course. So it's 11, 16. And I've only been fasting for 15 hours. I know because I had a late night snack. Even though it was low carb, it made me mad because I had something to eat at eight o'clock. So that means that I really can't eat till around two, but I'll probably end up instead of an 18 hour fast, a 16 hour fast. But I'm gonna make my salad and then I'm gonna go paint the stair, but that way it's ready. So what I'm gonna do, I have everything here. Well, you can see, bring you in a little bit, okay. So, um, what I'm gonna do is put the dressing on the bottom, and that way it won't be mushy, although it's spinach, it holds up really well. But um, the dressing is going to be balsamic vinegar, and I get really, really good. Watch how thick this is. Balsamic vinegar, so good. And it's literally half a tablespoon, and then I can measure, but I've been doing this long enough. I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of olive oil. And then, a little bit of salt. A lot of pepper. <laughs> and then, just give it a little, little whisk. I could get a whisk, but I hate doing dishes, so. Uh, and then, what I'm gonna do is measure the lettuce. So, I'm going to put the bowl on the scale. Well, here, so you can see. And then zero it out. So I don't have to measure everything individually. Try another scale. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in, let's see what we got. I need ounces, guys. We're gonna go with, this is a lot. 
a little less than three ounces of uh, spinach. I'm just gonna round it to three. Next, feta cheese. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend this is three ounces. So I'm gonna crumble some feta cheese. And feta cheese is practically free. <laughs> so, about half an ounce. Then, I'm going to zero it out because I'm going to start to get really confused. And then, I'm going to put the bacon in. That is almost an ounce, 0.99. We're going to call it an ounce. And. Strawberries. I have five strawberries, so I'm just gonna quarter them. These don't need to be weighed. And I might not use all of them, we'll see. Some of them were already halved. And I think that's all. So I'm actually only going to use four. Four strawberries. I don't need any more than that. And then walnuts, I am going to use. teaspoon of walnut. Actually, two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of walnuts. Look how pretty. I am going to add a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. And I, and there we go. So I'm going to put that in the fridge and then that'll be ready for me when I'm done. Alrighty. Lunch. Okay. So for those of you that saw the video about my anxiety disorder, I figured, you know what, I'm, if I'm going to try and vlog, I'm going to do the good, the bad, the ugly, even though it is a health journey. So I had all intentions of painting the stairs. I made the salad and then full on panic attack. Uh, so I took my medicine. And I'm laying down and I'm, I'm actually about to go get a cold cloth um, for my head. It's already dark because it's raining, so great. Um, and I think I'm gonna just chill. This is racing, it's horrible. Um, and that's what I talk about when I say that anxiety can, you know, I have to work around it. It doesn't work around me. <laughs> um, so, it's okay. Um, I'll feel better soon. All right, you guys. So, I told you I had the migraine. I made that salad, and I decided to put it into a nice, warm, low-carb tortilla. A little easy to eat. So, there's lunch for you. And I'm breaking my fast at, oh, Alexa, what time is it? About 12.20. All right, guys. So, I brought my food in here because the camera's in here. Dinner. Five ounces of steak. Uh, actually 5.3 ounces of steak, uh, ribeye, and that's what I'm eating for dinner. All right, good morning, you guys. Um, so, week two, I had hair dye on me. Week two, day four. So I am gonna dye my hair. It came in way too late. So I wanted to show you, I use Esalon. So I'm gonna show you how horrible my, and how gray and how fast um, my hair grows. I just use that spray so you guys don't see, but see how much gray I have? And in the back, it's even worse. Look at all this gray, look at that. So, um, I've mixed up my formula <laughs> and I'm gonna get to work. So, see when I'm not gray anymore. All right, you guys, week two, day four. Um, low carb tortilla, two strips of bacon, and um, two eggs and I'm breaking my fast at breaking my fast at 12.50 look at all those clothes every order so I ordered Ann Taylor to do um, I get this look I got loft to do the get this look 
And then I ordered it from Stonewall Hall and they literally came in all on the same day. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I will be filming tomorrow, not today. Um, I get it all organized and right now it's just laying on my bed. So um, I said that I was gonna do outfits for the day and I totally forgot. So um, you're gonna love this outfit because I've just been cleaning and doing errands. So um, this is a Be Kind t-shirt. I think I got this off of Amazon. If I did, I've listed. And these uh, little sweatpants that have the little flare in a different position because of the sun they kind of flare out i've had forever and guess what my slippers and i have my hair up in the silk scrunchie but i did do i dyed the hair today you guys so can you see the color yay no more gray all right i'm about to go make a little snack i'm gonna have right now i am boiling uh, artichokes um but um, which will probably be my dinner i just had the little bit of breakfast so i'm gonna have cottage cheese i forgot that i bought cottage cheese so that's going to be my lunch i'm probably going to do half a cup of cottage cheese with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper i'll show you a picture of it. all right you guys so i just keep coming in here because um honestly dragging the tripod back and forth from the kitchen unless i'm actually doing a recipe kind of a pain in the butt so i just wanted to show you i actually wanted a strawberry as well this is one strawberry that i just cut up and then i have my half a cup of cottage cheese so half a cup of cottage cheese is five carbs um i have to look up uh, when i add it in i'll put the strawberry in but here's the thing this is one of the things that i want to talk about with um with uh, low carb or keto is that or with any change in your eating is that you can't have just one or you can have in other words if I, I really wanted the strawberry, right? Because I wanted something a little sweet. And so I said, I'm going to cut up a strawberry, right? And then cut it up. Don't just, so there's these little tricks and we trick our mind. If we say, I can't have a piece of chocolate. I haven't had a piece of chocolate, but I'm saying, or a strawberry in this case, then that's all we're going to think about is that strawberry or that piece of chocolate or that potato chip or whatever. Now I do suggest staying away from like the real sugar like chocolate dark chocolate's good for you though um and potato chips and and staying away from things like potato chips and stuff like that the first two weeks but there is nothing wrong with having a little piece of chocolate it's don't have the whole chocolate bar so in this case um is this strawberry gonna hurt and break my ketosis no. um and i get a little bit of sweetness and that's what i wanted so don't completely don't completely deny yourself because if you do you're gonna want it that much more and then you're gonna break <laughs> and then if you break and then you have the whole candy bar or a whole thing of strawberries then you've eaten your you know your carbs for the day in strawberries and what are you gonna do for the rest of the day does that make sense I hope so anyways off to have my little snack all right guys so it's the end of day four week two <laughs> I have to, it's so funny how I say that. So um, for dinner, I did not take a picture of it. I did an artichoke, a steamed artichoke. That's what I have for dinner. And so I ended um, my fast at 5.30. It is now about 7.30, I think. Um, so just watched the most awesome movie. It's a 2016 movie, which kills me because sometimes, oh, I, I didn't even know I had Amazon Prime. And then during this year of the pandemic, um, I, I've had Amazon Prime, obviously, shopping-wise. I didn't even know there were movies, so I've been having the most fun time. Anyways, it's called um, Mr. Church. Y'all have to watch it. Seriously, an amazing movie. Uh, Magnesium. And some of you asked which one it is. Um, I showed this in How to Get a Good Night's Sleep. This is what the bottle looks like though. This is chelated magnesium. That's what the back looks like because you could have a compound pharmacy prepare this. Or my doctor and I don't push supplements on anybody. But um, you can get this from actually from my doctor because that's who I get it from. Because um, she has a lot of different um, all natural. Um, I'm looking for all natural all natural supplements so um she said if uh she's very sweet she said it, i've been taking chelated magnesium for 
nine years, 10 years, something like that. So uh, she said that if you mention my channel, you get 10% off and they ship, I don't know if they ship everywhere in the world, but I know they ship within the United States. So there you go, they ship. So um, that was somebody asked me about it and I was like, I don't know how to include a picture. So um, I'm including it here in case you guys are on this journey with me. So how do I feel? I'm tired. We've got a lot of personal stuff going on. So that is taking a toll. It's not so much I'm tired because we're, you know, we're, I mean, well, we're about a week and a half in, right? Um, and, uh, but I'm just tired because I'm not sleeping and I'm tired because I'm stressed out. And, um, but otherwise, uh, you know, I'm still not really super like, oh my God, I'm starving. Um, which is good, right? Because normally it's like snack, 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 you know, and, or eat big meals. And I'm not, I'm keeping everything really small too, uh, portion wise. And that's why big thing is using a scale, uh, and me you know measuring things um, like one of y'all said well you know lettuce doesn't have any carbs in it. well I mean a steak doesn't have any carbs in it either as zero carbs depending on the lettuce um, and how you get it there could be a few carbs so but it's like I'm not gonna eat a 12 ounce a 12 ounce steak because I'm also watching calories right so kind of juggling the bow so I'm gonna curl in and get ready to watch another movie <laughs> So, I know my life's so exciting, right? Saturday night at 7.30, I'm watching a movie. Happy to, and I'm happy as can be that I could do it. So, hope you guys have a good night. Good day five. Good night, guys. Good morning, guys. As you can see, I am in the beauty room, and it is week two, day five. Um, I thought I would, uh, this is City Beauty Plumping Lip Gloss. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on, and then, I'll show you some things that came in. I'm pretty excited about. So, um, this is a tool called the Hair Curler by Ramadong. Sorry. Um, this is something that I found off of TikTok, I'm telling you. So we're gonna try it out. Not in this video, obviously. But I'm gonna try this out and do a hair tutorial and see how this it does. And um, so that came in, so I gotta read all about it. Um, excited about that. And then, so very excited, because you know, one of the videos I said, oh my God, I ran out of my Coco Star under eye patches. So I got the gold, which I normally use, and they also had a, what is it? Tropical one. So I'm gonna try those. So I'm gonna put them in the. Well, I'm gonna put a pair on. I'll put the tropical on and put them both in the mini fridge because they're much better there. And then oh, I just put this on. Otherwise, I would try this out with you right now. Um, tomorrow. Uh, this also with Coco Star. They have lip masks. Oh no. So they have a whole bunch of different ones. This is lip mask pink. Um, so I'm dying to try this. But since I just put this on, I don't want to mix the two because, you know, last thing I want is to have a reaction and have, you know, huge lips. Um, so we'll try this very soon as well. So that came in and then um, the first of about four, I think I ordered four new lippies um, from Estee Lauder. This is the new whipped lip uh, lipstick. Um, we'll try this one out today because this looks like a really pretty neutral. So we'll try this color out today and then I'll probably do a dedicated video to, I don't know, I don't know what I'll do. Um, the other thing that came in is, it's right here, Kendra Scott. Um, so uh, during the month of October, I started last year where I recognize brands that give back for a breast cancer awareness month. Not just in the month, but they truly do give back. and. Um, Estee Lauder is one of them, and I have ordered two of their kits. Now, from what I can tell, they're not doing lip kits this year, and I'm super disappointed about that. Um, but they are, they are doing a pink kit. Um, I ordered two of them, and I'm giving both away. Um, because I have the uh, products, so I'm just gonna show them to you, and then I'm gonna get do a giveaway. Um, basically, everything that I order 
I'm going to be doing giveaways for it all. Get this necklace, I'm like, dang, I, met her. Man, I think I might wanna go back and order another one for myself. So this right here is uh, the Kendra Scott um, give back. Um, with regards to Kendra Scott, and I'll go back in more detail with this, it, it would be too hard to do it in this kind of video, but um, when I do fashion or something, I don't know, or maybe I'll just have a dedicated video and we just talk about all of it, but then I hate for things to sell out, so I don't know how I'm going to do it, but the, I am going to basically give everything away. Um, so anyways, that came in and it's so pretty. Um, so, But just as an FYI, if you get a Kendra Scott, um, anything with a yellow tag, um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be that necklace. Um, the bracelet that I had last year, uh, that I got last year, um, is on there. There's another bracelet, there's some necklaces, there's a lot of different stuff. Um, so that came in as well. So that's what came in. And then a whole, I think I mentioned this last night, a whole lot of clothes. So today's a film day, y'all. Um, I try now, because my photographer, as I mentioned, is Matthew, although, horribly ugly day. It's kind of rainy and drizzly and overcast. So perfect for taking pictures. But I really don't have a choice because, um, so here are the Coco Stars. Oh, look at these ones. They look so pretty. Um, they feel much better when you put them in the fridge. So in the fridge they go. Uh, ser I put my serums on in the bathroom and then um, this is the Uplift Firming Serum. I only put this on, um, I usually put this on in here, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, and then the, I should have put this on first because I like the Lid Lifting Serum. Amazing you guys, really, really amazing what it's actually doing. Um, and I have not been using the uh, any microcurrent device um, at all. When I did this video, I did this video, what, about two or three weeks ago? Still haven't um, done a microcurrent device because I was sick and everything. And um, I still get that, that, that lift. I mean, it's just really, it's truly, I'm, I'm very pleased with that product. So that's what's on the game plan. I washed my hair last night. I dyed my hair yesterday, actually. So, so happy. Um, and uh, because I put it up in one of those silk big scrunchies and left it guess what my hair is still wet <laughs> and this is what it looks like it looks very untamed so um i have to i'm just gonna let it air dry while i while i do my um makeup and i'm gonna go ahead and put my makeup on oh okay so where are we um how am i feeling today fine so far <laughs> it's like it actually is already 10 40 you guys i know it's my daughter's birthday um, my oldest, um, so I always make collages. If you follow me on Instagram, you see. So I've been fasting for, here we are, here is the little fast down clock, 16 hour, almost 17 hours. Um, <clears throat> so the good news is, is I will make the fast because it will take me a while uh, in the beauty room and then um, I will be doing fashion. So um, we are on track. All right guys, these are the new ones. I thought they would be green because the packaging was green, but they're not, they're orange. So I'll have to see if I like them as much as the gold ones, but thought I'd show you them. Okay, y'all, makeup's almost done. I'm gonna try the Estee Lauder, the new whipped lip. I think that's what it's called. Let me see. Yes, pure color envy. Of course, it's always pure color. Uh, whipped matte lip color with some kind of butter with moringa butter so this one is in sweet tart uh, it's 929 uh, sweet tart so I'm gonna use uh, the lip liner I'm gonna come in just a little bit I always bring you too close in sometimes um, so I'm gonna use uh, the lip liner Estee Lauder in rose I think that will go well so I look here So, let's try it out. This is the new packaging. And it has a very large doe foot applicator and it's angled, see that? And then let me just swatch the color. Oh, this is pretty. Pretty on the hand. So there we go, this is Sweet Tart. Let's give her a try. Ah, okay. 
feels very nice, very soft, not too thick. Really pretty color too. Yes. Zoom in a little bit. There's the color. Very pretty, huh? Ooh, I like it. And it goes with the eyeshadow today. We're doing a, I'm gonna film a bunch of fall looks. So yes, I like this very much. See how didn't get on the teeth? Yay. So uh, yeah, excellent. Okay, so now I have to do something with this. I told you that I would do outfits of the day even if they were boring. Today's not boring. This is what I am wearing today. We are just running around. It is 85 degrees still in Texas and we are in October. I know. Cute little check print um, uh, baby doll dress, I guess you would call it. Uh, let me back. Oh, my camera's way too high. Hold on. I've been moving this around. Okay, so really cute. It's got a little pop collar, little um, packet. This one is from Loft. You know, I'll list everything. And then it's just this little cute little swing dress. Longer, it covers the booty very well. And the cute thing about this dress is, um, oh, and I'm wearing the um, Vince Camuto booties, of course. Uh, they look so cute, right? Um, so anyways, the thing I like about this is uh, it's just super casual. Um, and it is long sleeve all the way down. So the other thing I like about it is that um, as uh, fall approaches, fall, October, uh, a pair of leggings with this. Um, and really cute. So it'd be like more like tunic. So anyways, but this is what I'm wearing. Um, we're just going to run errands. But I'm also filming today as well. Alright guys, it's... Babe, what time is it? <laughs> you have any idea? 3.30, okay. And I'm having my, probably my last meal of the day, besides my two pieces of cheese, which we went to Jason's Deli and I got the big chef salad. There are, I'm gonna say a lot of carbs in here, but if you're staying under 20, which is what I'm doing, then there is a significant amount, I guess. So, um, because I think there's 15 or 16, I want to say. So you just have to be real careful, real careful with everything else. As, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean? So I'm going to eat this and we're going to watch a movie. Bye. So right here, I'm going to actually show you a little, like, notification of when you've met your fast. Like, for me, look how big my hair is today. Um, so I'm gonna show you that right here just so you see what that looks like. So it'll actually tell you when you've met your fast. Sorry, Grace is working, my little rubber. So see here, I'm getting ready to break my fast. It's been 20 hours and 30 minutes, and it is one o'clock. And what am I breaking it with? Two over easy eggs, two strips of bacon, and one low carb tortilla. I felt like eggs today. So all I'm gonna do is click here, end fast. Feeling determined today and then save it and then it starts the clock back up good morning guys all right so it is um the last day week two day seven so uh 14 days in uh here's how long i've been fasting just so you guys are aware i did not uh take a let's see yesterday i'm trying to think what i ate yesterday all right june just saying um I can't remember, but it was the last thing that I ate that day. So that's why I didn't check back in. I washed my hair um, and uh, last night, so it's still a little damp. I'm letting it dry and then I'm gonna try. We're gonna see if that tool works, that hair tool. I had to charge it, so I couldn't do it that one day that I wanted to film it. Uh, I had to charge it for 24 hours, so I was like, oh man. So it's actually been charging for days now. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try that out and see how it works, but um, it's gonna have to be later because my hair is, uh, is um, <clears throat> still a little damp. Um, so I will, uh, this is the last day. Of course, I do the, I'll do the weigh-in tomorrow because that will be a full day, a full seven days. So I weigh in the morning, seeing so, how I felt. Oh, how do I feel today? Uh, a little bit jittery today for some reason. I don't know. Um, then again, I suffer from anxiety, so, <laughs> you know. But um, I can tell that, um, 
I'm probably gonna have to add a few more carbs because I'm I think yesterday like I was like at 15 or something so um, I'm gonna have to just get up a little bit higher um, and that might be why I'm a little bit more jittery anyways all right I'm off Okay. Stuff hey guys, I'm in the beauty room and uh, you know earlier this week I got a bunch of cocoa stars. Oh, I have my gold ones back on. I tried the tropical, I didn't like them. And what I noticed is you'll know, if you look back and see me without makeup in this video, um, how much more lines that I have. Because one, I didn't have the cocoa star, I ran out for like four days. Two was I was trying a different eye cream, not using my Pure Heels, and what a difference. What a difference. So I was like, ooh, let's get back on track. So, <clears throat> you know, favorites, fills, and empties, I will tell you which, because I can't even think of the name of it. Anyways, oh, what I'm opening. So the lip one came. So I thought I would, we'll give it a try here, and then of course, you know, I'll do more of a review, but we're just gonna give it a try. Pain in the ass to open. There's literally no lip. I had to use like scissors to literally pry the thing open. So, I don't like that. <laughs> I can't get into it. Um, it has the same concept where it has the little spatula and then the little lift lid as the Coco Stars do, which because of my nails, the lift lid is kind of a pain. This one, I mean, I get my Coco Star. I might have to use the scissors again. Okay. Look at the size of that holding that in which is good but okay so let's hope that I don't have some crazy reaction oh, these ones they're so I just opened this one today so they're super super hydrated so they slide a little um, because I'm sitting up so okay I'm gonna put it on and then I'm not gonna be able to talk <laughs> then I'll be back um, so I'm gonna do my makeup and I figure after that we'll we'll say and then I'm gonna hopefully attempt to try this I don't know. I don't know if I have high hopes. Okay, well there is a fragrance. Okay, I'm just, here we go. Oh my God, being that quiet with something over your mouth drove me crazy. I would do this at night, not in the beauty room. I like talking. <laughs> um, but what I did do is, cause I have all these little fine lines happening here. Oof, yeah, fillers might be in my, uh, in my um, future for that one. Cause they're driving me crazy. Um, but I put it up higher. So, how do, yeah, I mean the lips are, this is not gonna plump them. Um, this is for lip lines and moisturizing. Uh, but yeah, I mean it feels good. Um, but you know, it's again, not, oh God, those ones so good too. <laughs> um, so we'll see, I'll just keep using them, but I would use that, that at night. I'll do the lip mask at night. So like when I'm watching TV or not thinking about something, because usually when I'm in the beauty room, I try to, um, for my you know one of the issues that I have is the cats jump up on here and it would be nice for me to say this is city beauty skin perfecting daily veil um, the uh, cats jump up on here and then they knock things down and m move things and drive me freaking crazy so uh, yeah anyway Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, the lip mask. Yeah, definitely I would do the lip mask at night. So I'm gonna try out, I read the directions for this hair curler. Hey guys, all right, so it's check-in, it's 12.30. I will be having lunch in a minute here, but I am gonna start dinner actually. Um, so tonight I am doing a new recipe with Brussels sprouts. I love shaved Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just put that in the casserole dish so it's ready to go, and then um, I can move on to other things. And then I'm gonna have my lunch, and then I started using that UK curl, and I have to charge the battery, so my hair is like four pieces are curled. So I figured, well, I might as well eat my lunch and make a little bit. So I'm taking these shaved Brussels sprouts, which are, I love. Brussels sprouts are one of my favorite things. And um, I have, uh, let me, 
put you down here like this. So I have a casserole dish. I'm gonna take just a tiny smidgen of olive oil um, at the bottom, and then I'm gonna put the Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna save this package because um, in order for me to, I'm gonna have to figure out how much I make. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna add heavy cream, which is awesome because heavy cream has like zero carbs, which I love. Um, so, but I do watch my calories as well, so I'm just gonna take a three quarter measuring cup here and I'm not sure that's enough. I'm just gonna see it's not, so I'm gonna use two. So I will know. Cause I want it to be really, really creamy when this is over. Then I'm gonna take some uh, mozzarella cheese. You can use any cheese you want. I'm gonna use that same measuring cup and I'm probably going to go with, yep. I'm gonna have to add three quarters and three quarters. Is that one and a half? One and a half cups. So, kind of about one and a half cups. There we go. And we're gonna spread this out. Okay. And then I'm gonna give it a little mix. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a little mix. So it's going to almost make like a bechamel sauce. Okay, and then what I did earlier was um, crisp up some bacon. So at the end, I'm gonna uh, top that with a little bit of crunch. Um, but I am gonna put, this is two tablespoons of butter. I've already cut it out. And so I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter. This is really not necessary, but two tablespoons for this whole thing is not a lot of butter. It'll add some creaminess and I mean, who doesn't love butter? I do, I love butter. So just over and then a little more pepper. And then more basil. I want a little bit of basil, just a little bit. And there we go. So I'm just gonna sit this in the fridge and then when, easy enough, right? So I'm gonna put that in the fridge and then when I'm ready to bake it, I will bake it. I will show you that. And then at the end, I will top with the bacon and then bake a little bit more. So um, this is done. Let's move to lunch. Let me put this in the fridge. Lunch. H-E-B has rotisserie chicken. This is awesome. It has two carbs for half a cup. Um, and it's really, really good. Somehow track it. The other thing I'm gonna do is use two big strawberries. Mm, chicken salad with strawberries. Doesn't that sound yummy? And then what else do I want with my chicken salad? Low carb tortillas. Now, where are they? Somewhere along the line, I told you, Mission does the carb balance, right? That's what they are. Um, and that they have ones that have three carbs and they have ones that have four carbs. So when you look at this, and I don't have my glasses, you're gonna see, oh my God, there's 12 carbs, but dietary fiber is nine. That means there's three. So I chose the smaller ones this time around because what I noticed was, um, and I'm gonna make the tortilla chips so that I have something nice and crunchy to do with my chicken salad. Um, so uh, I showed you this, I just um, basically, let me bring you down again, hello. I'm just cut them into whatever size you want um, tortilla chip wise. I kind of make big ones, small ones, whatever, no. And then I take them to the air fryer. The air fryer is awesome. So I have my air fryer back there. Don't even look how messy my kitchen is. And I got boxes to open with you guys. Um, so I just throw it in here, turn it on. And it takes four minutes. My scales up there. Um, all right, let me go ahead and cut this strawberry up so I know that these are two, these are large strawberries. Um, and that's kind of how, um, but they're so good right now. Oh my gosh, you guys, the strawberries are so good. 
And I told you, don't deny yourself. Just don't eat the whole thing of them. And you could, but then you break your best. See, I even have the strawberries even are on here if I needed it. But the app, if I plug in strawberries, it'll give me small, medium, large, it'll give me half a cup, it'll give me a variety of choices to put in, so it's easy for me to say, yep, yeah, two large ones. All right, chicken salad. Half a cup. Bring it down. I'll show you my pretty little plate. Okay, half a cup. Easy enough. Now, use that. Um, I like a little bit of, this is not gonna, have you noticed it? I like pepper, yeah? I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper and noticing that I haven't been eating enough protein and stuff. So I am gonna take half an avocado bigger half. And I'm just going to scoop out the avocado. And we have little slices of avocado. There we go. anything away that I need here. Um, avocado, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of, actually, I'm gonna put thing but bagel seasoning. If you've never tried this, it's really good. I'm gonna add just a little bit of that on the avocado. Are we not, isn't this looking yummy, yummy? And just like that, you guys, look how crunchy these are. Hear that snap? So, perfect. Just move this over here. And then we have our little chips. And there is my lunch, guys. All right, so, so I'm gonna go plug that in and eat and wait for the curling thing to do its thing. All right, see you in a little. All right, guys, so dinner. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare it now. I have a little, no, well, a big <laughs> pan full of, um, a little bit of olive oil. So I'm gonna make Salisbury steak. So um, I've got some, uh, this is organic grass-fed beef patties. So they're already kind of formed. Uh, they're Baby Bella mushrooms. Um, I've portioned them out and cut them. And then I've got a little bit of red onion and green onion. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and do the meat first. So I'm going to, Bend you down here so you can see. There we go. And I am going to use my hands. I'm going to, um, actually first thing I'm gonna do is just salt the first two, the top, and pepper. And lots lots of pepper. I think Salisbury steak needs lots of pepper. So um, I'm gonna take them and they've been sitting out for room temperature. They're still cold. You don't want them sitting out too long. And I'm just gonna make them nice and flat and thin. So this is my mock version. Now, I'm making two that are the patties and then I'm making one hamburger because Matthew won't eat Salisbury stick. <laughs> now I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Hamburger. Now I'm gonna season the other side. And I'm just gonna fry those up and when they're ready to flip, I'll show ya. Okay y'all, I pulled the meat out. It's not completely cooked. It'll finish cooking. I'm gonna put the onions in um, and the mushrooms. Uh, I used eight, two tape, I used eight baby bellas that I cut up. Two tablespoons of green onion and two tablespoons of red onion. Just how. And 
and Matthew's hamburger is done, in case y'all are wondering. Pepper, thyme, quite a bit of thyme, <laughs> yep, quite a bit of thyme, a little bit of garlic powder, and then I don't put the salt yet because it'll pull moisture from the mushroom, so I do it once the mushrooms are fairly good. Okay, we're going to add two tablespoons of butter, and she like when I walk away and you see my, <laughs> my bobs. I'm telling you, they're super comfy. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. All right, all right. Okay, I'm gonna add the patties back in. Now, if I wasn't doing low carb and all the juice and everything, if I wasn't doing low carb, what I would have done is actually put flour over the mushrooms and then um, sauteed that until there was no smell of flour and then um, put the beef stock in. But because we're doing low carb, we're going to, we have to do something a little bit different. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add beef stock. This one right here, the Swanson's, has one carb for one cup. Um, and so, and then there's, let me just see how many, I forget, four. So I can feel the box, I'm gonna use two cups, and, cause I, and I can actually you know, feel half empty, I've, I've done it enough. Um, but measure if you want, so you know that two carbs went in there. Take uh, the heavy cream, and I have about quarter cup left from uh, this morning. That is going to make our mock, <laughs> um, Salisbury steak. So now all we do is wait. A uh, little more pepper and then we are going to add some more salt because we just added a bunch of liquid that has no salt in it. Hi sweetheart. Aww. Hey, come here. Hi. Guys, I don't think you... So let me see if you can see her. Go away, Joan. Go on. Stop. Come here. I know. Come here. This is our oldest baby right here. This is um, Beto. Let me move this up. He's probably like, what the hell's going on? He is not an Insta cat. He is 10 years old. He is. He's getting old. Huh. Say hi. Isn't he beautiful? Yeah, see, I'm the oldest. I'm the oldest, so I rule. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. That's just gonna simmer. You can see that it's simmering. And so I'm just gonna put on low and just let it simmer and thicken and it'll be ready. Um, the last thing I'll do is garnish with a little bit of green onion if I have it in the fridge. I actually have to look because I don't know if I have any left. Okay guys, so um, I just wanna let you know I'm gonna put this in the casserole. Um, my husband just called, he's on his way home. So he likes to try and eat early too if he gets home early, which you can see how, see how the sauce is kinda a little it's never gonna be as thick as a thick gravy that you would do with like a roux, but um, it's also low carb. Now, what are we serving with this, right? Because you gotta have something, and so we all, including, we all, including Matthew, love cauliflower uh, mashed potatoes. Um, so these ones are with cheddar and bacon, so um, this is, we're gonna serve it with this as well. Um, and then I had a mac and cheese with bacon um, for Matthew. So I'm gonna throw this one in. And then I'm gonna go back and try and work on my, my hair. Although, oh, Matthew should be home any minute actually. All right, you guys, so we're, we're almost done with dinner here. So uh, last little thing, I have a green onion. This is two tablespoons, it's gonna go into the, um, the mock Salisbury steak. I love greenery. And then I am going to, cool. So there's the um, Brussels sprouts, the shea Brussels sprouts with the, um, what I'm gonna do is just add that bacon. I've already cooked it, so it's just a matter of crisping it up. Um, 
again. And so I'm just gonna lay that over it. This has got that mozzarella cheese, heavy cream, like deliciousness and low carb. So let me show you, there it is. So like literally I'm gonna turn the oven off. I'm literally going to turn the oven off and just the residual heat will crisp that bacon up and finish it off. So that is done. All right guys, so please ignore the mess behind me. I just washed my linen, so I have to make my bed. But I wanted to show you the outfit that I wore today. You will have seen it in the video. This is the little romper uh, from uh, Sweaty Betty. Um, let me I'll lose light here. It's from Sweaty Betty. I got it in the pink with the Nordstrom's anniversary sale. They have it in other colors now, and they are on sale. Um, if they're still available, but it has a little cinch waist, it has pockets, super cute, I love it, look how long it is, I mean, it's nothing you have to worry about, and then I just paired it with the Sam Edelman um, slides that I've had, I don't know if these are available, but you know, I list if they are, so this is what I wore today just because it's super comfortable, size, size down on these, and then these are the Kendra Scott earrings that I'm sporting um, but I went to an extra small so normally with the girls I am a medium um, but uh, I tried a small in the Nordstrom sale and returned that for an extra small and the extra small as you can see is still kind of oversized so size down two sizes for sure all right I'm ready to eat it is um, five to five so I'm getting ready to have my absolute last meal at least it's early but I, what I wanted to show you was, if you guys had a question, so remember we made this beautiful um, <clears throat> shaved Brussels sprout casserole? So what I did is I will tally up everything carb-wise. Then you see what I did is I made a half and then I made a half. So I've taken a quarter. So then I will take the total calories or I will take the total carbs from there and then I will take 25% of that, right? Because that's a quarter of it. Um, with regards to the Salisbury steak, um, what I did was literally just weigh the patty, the beef. Um, I took two mushrooms um, that had been, you know, I can see that they were cut in half. So I took two full mushrooms and then a very small amount of sauce because it's just not my thing. And then I'm not having the... Um, cauliflower filet I love it um, so anyways this is what it looks like my my portion anyways so um, I can't wait to try this because this is a new recipe for me um, so if you like this video format please be sure to give it a thumbs up as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a week bye guys